Hello boys and girls. Today's book is called Sweet Dreams, How Animals Sleep, written by Kamiko Kajikawa. Orangutans doze in a bed of leaves. Lions sleep wherever they please. Sharks rest with eyes open wide. Black bears go into dens and hide. Koalas snooze up in trees. Sea otters float on top of the sea. Sloths sleep most of the day and night. Bats hang upside down out of the light. Hippos pile in a great big heap. Flamingos stand on one leg to sleep. Chipmunks curl in a fairy ball. Horses stand up straight and tall. Some people snore and some people talk. Some sleep still and some sleepwalk. Everyone sleeps in a different way. How will you go to sleep today? Let's learn about the sleep habits of these animals. Orangutans doze in a bed of leaves. About a half an hour before sunset, an orangutan builds a platform bed of branches and leaves in the fork of a tall tree. It needs only around 10 minutes to do this. A good thing because an orangutan builds a new bed every night. An orangutan lies on its bed and locks its fingers and toes onto the tree's branches. If it rains during the night, the orangutan makes an umbrella by holding or placing large leaves around its head. All right, let's look into the lion. Lions sleep wherever they please. Because lions have no predators, they feel safe wherever they are. A lion will sleep flat on its back with all four paws sticking straight up. Some lions even sleep in trees. The lion is an excellent hunter and needs to spend only about two hours a day in search of food. The rest of the day and night it spends playing and dozing. Let's learn about sharks. Sharks rest with eyes open wide. A shark doesn't sleep like we do. It never closes its eyes to rest. Instead, it goes through resting cycles where it slows down its movements. The wide-eyed shark remains aware of sights, smells, and sounds so it does not miss possible food, mates, or predators. That's interesting. Black bears go into dens and hide. To prepare for a long cold winter, a black bear spends most of the fall fattening up. It builds a winter den in a hollow of a tree, rock cave, or a brush pile. With strong claws, it makes a bed of dry leaves, grass, evergreens, and bark. When winter comes, the, the bear sleeps in its cozy bed. For up to seven months, it doesn't eat, drink, or go to the bathroom. Bears that live in warmer climates may hibernate for shorter periods of time, or not at all. Koalas snooze up in trees. Koalas are picky eaters, eating mostly leaves from certain types of eucalyptus trees. Because a koala is so fussy, it sleeps about 15 hours and rests an additional 5 hours each day to save energy. Snuggled up on the high limbs of the eucalyptus tree, the koala snoozes most of the day away. Sea otters float on top of the sea. A sea otter sleeps flat on his back in the chilly coastal sea. It anchors itself in a bed of kelp, a kind of seaweed to keep from drifting out into the ocean. Mother and pup hold paws to stay together while they sleep. During the day, a resting otter may place his paws over its eyes to block the sun. The next one is the sloth. Sloths sleep most of the day and night. A sloth spends about 20 hours a day sleeping. The rest of the time it moves very slowly or not at all. A sloth hooks itself onto a tree branch with its claws, toed, clawed toes and hangs upside down. 
In this position, it eats, mates, and sleeps. Some sloths spend their entire lives in the same tree. That's very interesting. All right, let's read one more. Let's read about flamingos. Flamingos stand on one leg to sleep. When a flamingo sleeps, it often stands in water on one leg and tucks its head under a wing. A fl resting flamingo almost always faces the wind. This stops the rain and wind from getting into its feather feathers. Standing on one leg, a flamingo sways back and forth through the breeze. All right, boys and girls, I hope we learn a little bit more about how animals sleep. We can ask questions of each, of each other as to how we may sleep. Say, for instance, where do we like to sleep and or do we take naps during the day? Things like that. Those are good questions to ask each other. All right. Thank you for listening and good night.